Okay. Hello. Okay, it's fine. I think. Yeah, you can use it. Thank you. Um, well, thank you for those who, who could make it in this not so great weather and, you know, with classes still going on. Um, for those of you who have skipped, appreciate it. Um, well, today, I think we want to talk about something that we find is kind of important. Um, pretty much every sector, every industry in this world, in our world, has embraced technology. From mobiles that are MP3 players to MP3 players that are mobiles, from photo sharing apps that make you feel like it's 1969, to buying and selling across continents, making it feel like you're actually across, the across rooms. Pretty much anything is possible today. Innovators have innovated and they've done so repeatedly and users have embraced this innovation and thereby improved and facilitated the way they behave. There is, however, one sector that has not, and that is probably the most important sector of them all, the social sector. It remains largely fragmented, disconnected, it lacks transparency, and is regarded as wasteful. There are many reasons for this we can go into, but that is what it is. The wars of this century will be fought over energy, or as a result of energy, food, water, and in some form or another, information. Today, we do not really have a solution to the first three problems. It would be good, but we don't. However, we do believe that we have the base of a solution or the foundation of a solution for the fourth problem. And that's what we want to present to you today. Thank you. As my brother was saying, today, thanks to the web and thanks to mobile technology, our generation finally has the power, the opportunity, to channel all the information in the world to communicate and organize globally. By harnessing the power of connecting people and connecting information on the web, we can address global challenges. We can provide global solutions. And we can build a truly global society. And on that note, I'd like to present our solution. It's called End Ignorance. At End Ignorance, a social enterprise we created, we are in the process of building the most comprehensive, centralized, collaborative platform, an information network that addresses our world's greatest challenges, from poverty to climate change by connecting information to opportunities to get involved, to make a difference. Here's a short video that presents our concept. And I hope you like it. This is what the world should look like. It doesn't. The world has issues. But there is a solution. People, people like Joe, Joe wants to make the world a better place, but he doesn't know how. Every time he wants to help, he has to browse through a gazillion sites or survive a mountain of mail. Joe gets frustrated, but then he discovered indignance. Indignance is an easy way for Joe to get informed and then get involved in solving the world's problems that matter most to him. But how does it work? Joe is really concerned about climate change, so he logs on to indignance and visits the issue page. On a single page, Joe can now see everything he could possibly want to know about about climate change. He can then browse a mind-blowing database of related media like movies, news, and books. Joe can also follow issues, spotlights, countries, campaigns, events, people, organizations, and news channels. But now that Joe's informed, he wants to get involved. With a single click, Joe can. Joe can now discuss the issues that concern him, rate film, books, and organizations, and then rank them. Donate using a secure e-banking portal. Join a campaign. 
It's on a petition. Find a study program, volunteer, or find a suitable job. Here's an example. Joey walked the inconvenient truth and now wants to get involved. Joey is an engineering graduate who wants to get a job on a wind farm in Brazil. When he gains his advanced filter, ensures he finds the perfect job in a matter of seconds. Just like that, Joe makes the world a better place. Indignance is so easy to use, even Joe's prehistoric brother gets it. Indignance is so reliable and complete, Joe's uncle trusts it for his experiments. Finally, even Joe's both cousin can use it, because it's free. Join Joe, get informed, get involved. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed Joe's story. I'm sure by now you've noticed the platform really consists of two key parts. Get informed, get involved. Let's start with get informed. And ignorance is a platform that regroups and structures, sorry, that regroups and structures all the information on the web related to social and humanitarian efforts independent, impartial, easy to use, and accessible to everyone. With a team of over 60 content generators and a couple of web robots, we are building the largest online database that presents, rates, and ranks every organization, every film, every photograph, and every book related to the social sector. We are building an infrastructure for information consisting of issues like climate change and HIV AIDS, countries like Syria, and finally, what we call spotlights, like the tsunami in Japan or the crisis in Gaza. And on each and every one of these pages, we have designed a news feed that not only retrieves information from, tradi from traditional media sources like the BBC and Al Jazeera, but also raw, crowd-sourced news from sources like Twitter. By aligning structured and relevant crowd-sourced news with traditional media sources, we will encourage debate and discussion and ensure the truth is always told. And biased or fake information will be balanced out of the equation and transparency will never be compromised. In fact, we are taking crowdsourced news a step further by developing our own mobile app called Crowd. We are designing a tool that ensures efficient humanitarian relief after a natural disaster like the tsunami in Japan, but also a defense mechanism in the struggle and the fight against corruption, against whaling, against massive human rights violations, and even against genocide. Basically, the app works like this. Imagine you were somehow part of the crowd during the Egyptian revolution, and you had your mobile phone on you. You witnessed massive human rights violations, and with your app, you'd be able to take a photo or type a text and upload that information directly in real time onto, a, onto the Indignance platform by tagging the issue, the country, the spotlight, the organizations, and the individuals that would find that information useful. Take another example. Imagine you are on a boat in the Indian Ocean and you are witnessing whaling. You can immediately take a photo and tag the issue, whaling. And then the concerned organizations like Greenpeace or Sea Shepherd. In short, we are connecting a disconnected system and uniting every organization, every activist, every researcher, every student, and every individual, hopefully including you, on a single platform. And then there's a second and probably the most important part of our platform. Get involved. We are in the process 
of connecting every opportunity to get involved, to make a difference. Every job, every internship, every campaign, and every petition on a single platform. Imagine if after witnessing the human tragedy following the earthquake in Haiti or the drought in Somalia, you no longer felt incapable of doing something. You no longer felt you were too far away or too disconnected to make a difference, to start getting involved. Imagine if all it took for you to get involved, to start making a difference, was a single click, a one-click gateway from information to opportunities. By bridging the information gap between knowing and doing, more people will do. And by doing so, we will accelerate progress, increase efficiency, improve dialogue, and ensure transparency. Together, let us harness the power of connecting people and information on the web to make a real, concrete difference. So, we're, we're very, we've actually been, we're, we're very grateful for the reaction that we've, we've received in the weeks leading up to our launch and, and throughout the past few weeks from um, organizations, activists, um, associations, sponsors, and of course, users. Uh, we, we're very, very grateful that we have largely been embraced and we believe that if we continue to work together and each stakeholder does his or her part, then we can take this very special opportunity that we have to take this platform and create something truly incredible with it. So look forward to seeing you on this journey with us. Thank you. Get informed, get involved.